Hello, this is a little project called Quick Test. It's a shell script that can be used to test Linux distributions. It uses QuickMU and QuickGet, so it lives in the same project on GitHub. To get hold of it, you can clone the repository, and there's also a deb. If you're on Quick Test minus H, it shows you the help, and Quick Test minus LS shows you the list of tests that are currently available that you can run. Each test is built around a particular Linux distro and a release. By default, if you don't specify a distro and release, it'll use Ubuntu 2404. In this case, I'm running quick test, specifying the name of a test, and then I've said Ubuntu Mate daily live. So that's gonna tell quick get to make sure I've got an up-to-date version of the daily build of Ubuntu Mate. Then it's gonna run quick MU in order to spin up a virtual machine running Ubuntu Mate daily live. And so this is a viewer on that virtual machine. Once the VM is started, quick test will start taking screenshots and then examine the screens to figure out if what it's expecting is on the screen. It does a little bit of simple OCR using uh, a project called Tesseract. So what it's waiting for now is a certain period of time to pass and for some expected text to be on the screen. Welcome to Ubuntu. Now this is the boot up process of the live image you get on a USB stick or a DVD or CD. And the window that's appeared is the Ubuntu installer. And you'll notice the title is Welcome to Ubuntu Mate. And we're looking for the text, Welcome to Ubuntu. And once the timer runs out, it will take a screenshot, look at the screenshot, figure out if the text is there. And if it is, it then injects key presses into the VM in order to navigate to the next screen. So it's now looking for accessibility on this screen. And once it finds it, it'll navigate to the next button and so on and so on through the installer until it gets to the end. Now this is all run by a relatively simple shell script. You can create additional tests for different Linux distributions, or you could create multiple tests for one distribution. Quick test ships with a bunch of tests for Ubuntu Mate and Ubuntu. And there's a couple of smaller tests in there. There's one for Alpine Linux, which is really just a very short test that doesn't boot into a GUI and take a long time to start up. Mainly it's there so you can just prove that quick test works on your system. So here you can see there's a log being generated in the terminal so you can see what it's doing. And then in the GUI, you can see what's going on. It's now got to the create a user screen and the username and password and any other details that are required are defined inside the test case itself. It's just a shell script. It's pretty readable, a set of functions that it runs one after the other. And most of them consist of waiting for some text to be on the screen and either pressing buttons or tabbing around or entering data. So it's got to the final part of the entering data section and now we get to the actual install. So now what it's gonna look for is the very final screen of the install. Now I could add some additional steps in here that look for each of the screens that you see throughout the installation, the ones that show you stuff like, you know, there's a music player and there's a photo editor and that kind of stuff. But actually I don't really need to do that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll speed past this little bit in a second and when it gets to the end, we'll, we'll see how it deals with the final couple of steps of the test. But all it's really doing is looking for the title of the window. And in some cases, it's also looking for the contents of the window. And the reason why it does that is sometimes you may notice that the window paints and the title is there, but the content isn't. And so I don't want to end up in a situation where I only look at the title of the screen and then start trying to type things into the screen and the fields aren't there yet. So we try and test as a double check that the title of the screen is there and also the content is there. But for these little uh, slideshows, we don't actually test for them. 
So what you'll see at the bottom of the screen is just repeatedly in a loop looking for the final screen of the test. Final screen of the install, which is the end of the test. So we've sped up this little bit. It, uh, it usually takes like about five minutes or so, uh, maybe seven minutes on my computer. My computer is a, a modern i7 with lots of RAM and a fast disk. It might be a bit slower on your computer. So now we've got to the final screen, it presses the button and pressing the button will then end the installer and drop to the Plymouth screen where it says, pull the USB key out and press enter. And so we just inject an enter key. That's it, the install was done. There's a log file captured and a video. And the video is a time-lapse of all of the screenshots that were taken as it went through the install. So if you want to double check something, you can go and look at the screenshots after the test has finished and you can read the log file. You can also run this test in the background, headless, so that you don't have a window pop up and you can just have it running in the background. There's also a summary log, which just gives you the one line pass or fail, which is good for checking after it ran. So that's it, that's quick test. Uh, you'll find the source on GitHub. Uh, there's also a deb in a PPA, and that's all linked from the GitHub repository. Thanks for watching.